Hey guys, it's Sarah again. Welcome to the Fix Your Form series. Today I'm going to show you how to do a hip up and rock back. This, there might be other names for this move, but that's what I call it. So if you find it another name, it's probably called that. Just add it to your workout and you're gonna get great results. That's what matters. Okay, so hip up means we are going to be doing, we're working your glutes, okay? And your core. This is like a two for one. That's why you should do it. If you struggle with this move, do not give up. I'm gonna tell you, um, if you're first starting off with this, get a stack of like books or a yoga block if you have one and put it underneath those hands, okay? Then you'll be able to do this move, I promise. Or if you're like, I can't do the second move, just try the first move. So we'll focus on that hip up first, okay? So hip up, you're gonna plant those feet, knees bent, hands underneath your shoulders. You're not out here, okay? So bring them close to the butt, fingertips point forward, pull your abs in and then squeeze your glutes pushing up. That's called a hip up or bridge, <laughs> okay? And all you're gonna do next is keep your core tight, your back's a little bit rounded here, and you're just gonna rock back through, okay? Did you notice that? It's a little crazy, okay? So hip up, drop, but keep your core tight. Notice I'm not pushing my butt down, I'm contracting my abs to keep them shortened. Because a lot of times, people won't be able to do this because they straighten their back too much, and then your butt hits before you get to the end. But again, if you're new to this, use some yoga blocks, books, something sturdy to lift you up, maybe four to eight inches off the ground, okay? So again, hip up, pull the abs in, and then rock back, straighten your legs. Stay on those heels, lift, abs tight, rock back. And keep breathing with this, okay? That's like three of these, okay? Keep this going with me. Hip up, rock back. Your shoulders and your triceps are getting a good workout. Oh, your core is engaged pretty much this whole time. Oh, and your butt. That's why I got a grunt. You know it's a good workout when you got a grunt, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Lift up, push back. Head and spine is neutral. Notice I'm not dropping my head or squeezing too much, okay? Make sure that you have some space in between your chin and your chest. One more, you guys, let's do it. Rock back, hip up. Nice job, you guys, bring it back. Oh, shake it out a little bit. Good work, ha, ah, I feel it all over. All right, that is how to do the hip up, rock back, add 10 to 15 reps, two to three sets. You're gonna get great results and keep it up and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me, see ya.